Good evening traders, it's E. It is after hours on Friday the 20th of February. Quick aftermarket review before I head out to dinner. If you take a look at the charts today, we had a high odds reversal zone in the 82 to 85 area. We felt the weekly low at 80.75 would hold and we thought the boys would be buying with both arms at the 82 to 85 and then how high would it run would be the question. So the first trade of the day we thought would be to using the 15 minute chart to look to hit all the aggressive longs, knock them out um, in a potential profit taking swing for the week and then the key would be could 82, 85 get traction and drive long side. If you'll note um, the daily chart we saw the green line coming off the fast line we thought that would be very important today to keep an eye on that. Um, we like the NASDAQ holding its support zone and we thought the deeper 15 minute chart was appropriate since we used the 10 yesterday and it started to roll over a little bit. We try to fine tune neighborhoods that we think are going to be important. That 83 and a half was one of them, 82 area. And we matched up a 45 minute chart this morning and said, looks to, to me like this area should hold. And then the question will be, what happens when we get back to that 93 if we get there? We like the five minute charts, but we also, as day traders, want to know what the big boys are doing. So we look at deep deeper charts like the 60 like the 240 chart you can see the 240 clearly today was in play hit the mid uni bounce and once it bounces who knows how high it will go we've got projections for certain targets based on what we think will happen most important was can you hold that low you can see on the daily chart obviously the uh, low on uh, 80.75 had held and once we got traction there then the Obviously, close of the day just uh, destroyed anybody who was thinking about short, short, short. Um, and the balance, you could really see how this balance will come in fairly well. So he made some outstanding calls today. He said, let's dump first and then let's buy the 82s to 85s. I think 83 is the right buy. And he said, before we're done, it's going to give the boys license to get up there and test that uh, target that we had talked about, the... Uh, 82 the uh, O2s to 05 territory and you can see on the 15 minute chart it was lights out once we touched down into that 82 to 85 first rotation we called make sure you paid by that 88 area we we have noticed a tendency for the market to go back and retest that 88 89 then come back and decide about 85 what it wants to do and today it hit that 85 zone and just came out smoking and never looked back very sluggish of course uh, going into lunch but the afternoon was just all straight up and very powerful move uh, to complete the week and options expiration here's the five minute chart that we love as a day trader we took a look early obviously we're at the longer term average below it that's the umbrella trade and snap down into that 82 to 85 this was really the key trade of the day if you miss the short and then try to hit it the rest of the day, you got yourself in trouble. If you understood the game was probably take some profits early and then rebuy, which we thought was was the real game today. If you a lot of traders would be looking to buy this uh, uh, sub 85 area as a value area to come back in towards that 92, 93, and then the key became this rotation here. Um, we've been keying off this 88.75, that prior high. This was last year's high. And uh, once above that, we thought that this could again run. And the question was, as we've talked in previous videos, could we get to that 02 to 05, which was my measured move right here at 05. And we felt today above that was the juice and any target available. But the, the key trade really was getting back on board if you took some profits off and understood the dynamics um, to either let an option roll for the rest of the day and into the, the closing if you bought down here sell some in here and then you know ride some to the uh, afternoon highs and anywhere near that 05 uh, dump it and say you know that's a good day um, we felt the real key this afternoon 
was first of all coming out and holding that um, 92, 93 and we identified all of these support pivots along the way and uh, especially this first one right here 8475 just over the 84 angel and then once we got the gap closed the question was can this continue to run or not uh, once we took out the 98s it was uh, any high available now Hayard's target that Zeke had called was three and a half and um, our primary target though was really into the 05s measured move uh, to the 875 was actually eight and a half was uh, T2 today and missed by a point getting the weekly T1 so that's the way we looked at things today the angels and demons had set up early the 84 actually turned out to be today's um, angel that survived and tested the 83 which was the previous angel of the week we made note of that on Twitter to make sure we identified key areas key locations and reasons why we thought those were potential support areas and as you can see as the day wore on every single demon continued to get beat until the end of the day and then it chugged around in the last hour I actually missed last hour. It's my wife's birthday. I took her out and we spent a little time together. And um, I'm grateful for the time I do get to spend with her. She's been a companion of mine for a good many years. And uh, the name of this game is take something out of the market every day. And then uh, you don't have to be a pig and you don't have to sit here all day long. It, it's what makes life worthwhile, doing things with people you want to be with. And our 88 chart showed us obviously areas of support, potential buy zones. We love the 82 to 85 buy zone today. And then uh, once we got rocking and rolling, very little support built up along the way. So perhaps next week we'll come back and retest some of this anyways. For now, this is E signing off for marketwizards.com and emanywizard.com. Reminder, we've got the Reinvent Yourself special going on. Anyone would like to take advantage of a, what I believe is a great opportunity, contact us. The information is here. Hopefully, some of you will decide that you could pick your game up a notch and take a look through what we have to offer. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody, and we'll catch you next week.